where we're sitting right now. Uh, this is where I'm going to be recording all the music I will for the rest of my life. And it's where my dad, since 1984, has been recording music here. So his energy is all throughout this place, and I'm excited to, uh, to, to continue the legacy of filling this place with music. Wolfgang Van Halen was only 15 years old when he became the bassist for his father, Eddie's legendary band, Van Halen. Now, 15 years later, Wolfgang is ready to release his first solo album, Mammoth WVH, which comes out June 11th. And it doesn't get any more solo than this. The 30-year-old musician plays every instrument and sings every note. I just kind of call it a hard rock album, but it, uh, it certainly goes to places that are softer um, or maybe even heavier. But I think anybody who likes rock music could find something they'd like. I'm just excited for everybody to hear it. The response to the what, five or six songs that we put out so far has been far and above anything I could have expected. So uh, I'm really excited for, here, for everybody to hear everything else. I think a lot of people have, understandably, uh, preconceived notions about what this must be. Like, oh, he's the son, it must sound exactly like it. Um, but I've done everything I can to, uh, to be my own person, and, you know, I, I think it really shows on the album. While the album's sound is definitely a departure from Wolfgang's work with Van Halen, the name is a nod to the band's history. The name Mammoth was actually the name of Van Halen uh, before Van Halen. It was a three-piece band that my dad sung and played guitar. Uh, it was my Uncle Alex on drums and uh, a man named Mark Stone uh, on the bass. Um, and every time my dad would tell me that story, I always loved the name Mammoth so much that uh, when I grew up, I was like, or I would tell myself, uh, you know, when I grow up, I'm going to call my own band that. It's great, you know, because uh, it's not sitting with the Van Halen name, but it's tied to the the, the lore, if you will, you know, it's kind of, it's got that historical relevancy to, to where I come from, but it, it takes it in another direction, so I'm really happy with, with the choice. I was really nervous about it at first because I had been writing under the assumption I was going to be calling this project this since like 2013, uh, but it wasn't until like 2015 that I like asked my dad, I was like, hey, is, is this alright if I do this? And he was like, absolutely. He was, he was like, why the heck would you be nervous about that? I think just uh, most of my lyrics are written like at something or someone. It's almost like an amalgamation of, every, of like a, you know how, how, how you always win arguments in the shower? <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of like that. It's like anybody who's ever done me wrong or, 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 or used me or, or lied to me kind of amalgamate into this one being that I kind of write lyrics at. Uh, so I think that's kind of, kind of what I'm working through on most of my songs. I mean, the whole thing is it's uh, as personal as it can be. Uh, uh, songwriting is a really therapeutic thing for me. So I, I was working out a lot of stuff <laughs> with these songs. But it's very freeing to be able to uh, start this path now rather than doing what everybody would expect me to do, to kind of get out there and just play covers of Van Halen songs and, and whatever. It's like, I don't think I'd ever want to do that ever. I really want to be my own person, so I'm really excited to start this path. Gosh, he'd be so excited. He, he loved it so much. He, like, it was his favorite. He would always listen to it and be like, I mean, I'm sure it's proud dad talk, but he was just like, favorite album of all time. Always. He was, it was the only thing he had on his phone. I love you, daddy. <laughs> I love you. Perhaps Wolfgang's most personal song, Distance, is an ode to his father, who passed away last October after a long battle with cancer. No matter what the distance is, I will be with you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, music is a really therapeutic thing, and, and being able to focus on on that and just paying tribute to my to my dad and our relationship was a really helpful thing for me to kind of. Uh, uh, grieve in that way, I guess. I'm so happy. Found a place. Work and 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 working on on all this music and and, and getting it out to everybody has been uh, a really helpful distraction, a really welcome distraction. 
uh, but other than you know spending time with my mom, my girlfriend, and my uncle, they've really helped me a lot throughout everything because uh, it really takes me a lot of energy to kind of just get going and do and do anything. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. Uh, I guess I'm a good actor when it comes to <laughs> pretending that everything's okay, but uh, it's really not. You know, you just kind of you got to keep going. And, and kind of the big, the, the big thing that really helps me keep going is my dad. Because if I, if I just gave up and stopped and crawled in the hole, which I feel like doing every day, I know he'd be really pissed off at me. <laughs> so it's the only thing that keeps me going. He was my biggest champion other than my mom. I'm an extension of him. And uh, I'm just happy to be here uh, to spread the good word of who he was and, uh, and how he should be remembered. I think he is like a Mozart of our generation. I think 300, 400, you know, as far removed as we are from Mozart and we still talk about him and, and, and know who he is, that's what he's gonna be. Wolfgang's famous parents, Eddie Van Halen and actress Valerie Bertinelli, were married in 1981 and divorced in 2007. People are very quick to remind me that I look like both my parents, which I have to tell them. It's like, wow, science. <laughs> That's, uh, who, who'd, who'd have guessed it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm certainly uh, a, a combination of both my parents, that's for sure. I think uh, I inherited my sense of humor from both of them, big time. And a lot of that self-deprecation certainly comes from both of them too. <laughs> uh, and gosh, yeah, they, they kind of messed me up with everything they gave me. I'm very anxious and self-deprecating, <laughs> but in a good way, I guess. I get questions all the time where it's like, how crazy must it have been growing up uh, with, with your two parents like that? He was never that guy to me. He was, he's, and he was never that guy to himself. He was, he was just a dude who liked to play music. And that's, that's, that's who I am too. And I don't know, I think my mom did a really good job at, at kind of grounding me in my childhood. And it's like it felt completely normal. I don't, it wasn't lavish or, or, or insane. Uh, so I think she did a really good job at kind of balancing that, that fame aspect of both of my parents' lives and gave me a really great, normal childhood. Yeah, I think, I think people cynically would, would I mean, I would, if I saw who I am on paper, uh, would just be like, ah, he's probably a dick. You know, he's the son of, of Eddie Van Halen and Valerie Bertinelli. He's gotta, you know, uh, he's gotta be a dick. But I'd like to think I'm not. I try to be nice to everybody I meet. <laughs> Why would anybody wanna be a dick? It's just, it's, that's dumb. It's great to be a nice person, right? I think it requires a bit more effort. <laughs> it's so easy to be a dick, you know, and it's like, uh, I just think that's a really dumb thing to do. Like, treat people how you want to be treated. It's as simple as that. While Wolfgang certainly learned a lot from his parents, it turns out one of the world's greatest guitar players was not always the greatest guitar teacher. I started on, on the drums when I was 10 and I picked up a uh, guitar when I was 12 because I wanted to learn the song uh, that he penned for me for a sixth grade talent show. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's really uh, difficult. <laughs> to have that shadow over you, but uh, you just kind of, you just keep trying. You know, he, he really, what I appreciate is that, well, uh, he was really not a good teacher. He'd even tell you that. He's like, I, I can't, I can't teach. <laughs> so he'd give me pointers here and there, but overall it's like, I'd be like, hey dad, how do you play this? And then he would proceed to be Eddie Van Halen. And I'd be like, I can't do that. <laughs> like show me A, B, and C. And he just goes from A to Z right there in front of me in two seconds. But yeah, I, I think that allowed me to develop my own identity as a musician, and I think that's what he wanted most. I think it'd be really boring if I was just a carbon copy of him. Something you could apply to everything that he did tell me music related uh, is that if you ever make a mistake, do it twice. Everybody thinks you meant to do it. <laughs> Applies a bit more to music than life, but that's one of my favorite pieces of advice he gave me. <laughs> With a new album this month and concerts scheduled for the fall, Wolfgang is looking forward to life as a solo artist. It's exciting. Uh, you know, my whole life I've just been, you know, the kid. <laughs> and I constantly have to tell, you know, I, I have a lot of, uh, I'm thankful for, for all the people that follow me and the fans, but most of them uh, follow me because of who my parents are. So they, they tend to view me as like their kid. 
So I'm always a kid and I have to always be like, hey, I'm, I'm 30, <laughs> I'm, I'm a grown man. I guess I'm kind of proving that right now with this album is that I'm my own person <laughs> and that, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not my dad. I'm, I'm my own person and I'm only gonna prove that more and more uh, with all the music I make.